Hey everyone, let's dive into the topic of value at risk or VAR, which may seem complicated on the surface, but it's actually really easy. So let's just start off with the definition. Value at risk is the potential loss in value of a risky portfolio or asset given these two inputs. Now, one would be a specified time period by which we want to measure this value at risk. It could be one day, one week, one year, etc., and a confidence level or confidence interval. Now, let's dive into what I believe is the most straightforward method for calculating VAR. The historical method calculates VAR by using actual historical returns of an asset or portfolio, ranking these returns from worst to best and selecting the loss at the desired percentile as the VAR estimate. So let's walk through an example. Now we have these inputs. Now let's assume for the time period that instead of one year, we're actually looking for our one day VAR. And now for our confidence level, let's say we're looking for our 99 percentile confidence level. And then we gathered actual historical returns from the last 500 trading days and we sorted them all and we ended up with this order. Now the best one was 4.7%, the worst one was negative 3.96% and we have hundreds in between these two. Now how would we calculate our VAR? Well we're looking for the 99th percentile confidence interval, right? So we can take 100% minus 99% which will give us 1%, so we're really looking for the one percentile outcome. If we have 500 observations and we're looking for the one percentile outcome, that would really be the fifth worst observation. So we can start down here, one, two, three, four, and five. And there, we find that basically on any given day, our 99th percentile worst outcome would ex be expected to be negative 3.73%, which is our VAR estimate. Mm -hmm.